Seeking English, SAT Workbook, page 313, problem 2. I'm not a mathematician. I'm not a linguist. I'm very good at get you, getting you points on a standardized test, in this case, the SAT. So what's the difference? The difference is this. In your algebra class in high school, I guess, uh, your algebra teacher would probably tell you to get X and Y, solve for X, plug it back in, and you get Y. Why? Why solve for X? I don't know. It's alphabetic, something like that. An algebra teacher who's doing that is doing a good job, but he is not preparing you for the SAT. I'm preparing you for the SAT. What's the difference? Here. Here. The SAT gives you the answers. Would your algebra teacher probably give you the answers and then ask you to just pick one? No. But that's what the SAT does. That's why an algebra class doesn't directly prepare you for the SAT. How to use this information? Well, look at it this way. If you, if you do what your algebra teacher suggests, solve for x, and you happen to get 7, you're, you're only half done. You have to plug it back in and get y. Because you have multiple answers with x equals 7, you do not have multiple answers with y equals anything. So if you solve for y, you don't have to solve for x. You don't have to plug anything back in. If you solve for y, you're done. It's going to save you a lot of time on the test. Will your algebra teacher be happy? I don't know. Your algebra teacher won't be there. I won't be there either, but ima imagine I'm there. Don't imagine your algebra, algebra teacher being there. So uh, if you look at the problem itself, uh, you see something you might see on the SAT. It does happen a little bit where they, they give you some kind of a, a creative clue, but they don't make it too obvious, where this, this 2x and this minus 2x, they will cancel if you just add the add the equations together. You notice the order of these items, though, is reversed from these items, just to not make it too visually obvious. They're always fine-tuning these things to just, you know, try, try to get a slightly different result, slightly different number of seconds, whatever. I don't know. They're fine-tuning the test. Okay, uh, so what if we just do it? What if we just add it together? 9y, the x is cancel, so 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Okay, and you're done. X is 4, that's great, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Mark it and move on. 